Hello guys, my name is BlueDigit, and today we're going to be talking about Roblox moderation. This has been a really fun topic I've been thinking about for a while, and uh, basically I'm going to go on a rant, so uh, enjoy. Essentially, I think Roblox moderation needs a lot of help, especially for the future Roblox. It's just, it, we're going to die. We're, we're not going to last, and it's going to turn back into a kid limbo of just degeneracy and just idiocracy. So, uh, that's probably not a real word. Who cares? Anyways, so... My, my point is, a lot of people have been just randomly getting banned off of Roblox for reasons that are either complete lies, false, or abusing the system. So I'll give you a few examples. Um, a lot of times people, uh, this is one, one thing that happened to me, I'll show you right here right now, this is why it's so important. Um, I got banned for verbally harassing people. And, you know, I get it, right? I get that Roblox isn't always a... Uh, it's supposed to be for kids. Uh, obviously, as you can tell by the, the gameplay here, which all the blood and, you know, um, clearly uh, family-friendly violence. But I, because I was playing Murder Mercy 2, I was a killer, and I killed everyone, right? Because I know this exact incident. That's why I'm talking about this. And uh, I, I basically said in the uh, chat, man, y'all died. Take your L's. That's all I said. Take an L. L, L, L. And then I got banned. Now, I'm just saying, I think that's 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 complete horse. Complete horse. And I, I, I totally think that people either reported me or the moderation system was whack. And this isn't the first time I got banned. Now now I'm just so careful about saying or doing things that like I, I'm almost afraid to just play the game sometimes. Now like Donnie Rock, I still love Roblox. I really do. I think it's one of the best games right now. I just I, I do. Um, but that's also because it's changed a lot over the years. It's not the same. And that's why I did come back to this community. So, uh, this, uh, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but like clearly the, the platform Roblox itself with like, you know, the style of games and es especially the content that it, it shows. For example, there's a lot of horror games just straight up people being murdered. Uh, there's a lot of games where I would say, you know, your avatars can like look a little risky. There's li I've literally jumped into the games with like just big swear words. Like, like they're dropping like S bombs and F bombs. And it's like, I, I don't know that I made it in. And Roblox doesn't care about that because guess what? Most of those games, you can buy things with Roblox and that helps them. Even their avatar store, you know, there's a lot of things that <clears throat> mainly women can buy these little uh, sh shenanigan avatars. You know what I'm talking about? R63, R63. R and it it's just allowed. It it's, it's just allowed. And that's kind of crazy to me when I would say that's very sexually implicit and almost sexually explicit so I, I'm not a big advocate of it I don't you know dig it but at the same time we're, we're, jo we're going into a time period where there's so many people that are I would say teenagers jumping into Roblox even adults they're just playing this game because it came out in the early 2000s so of course there's going to be people from that time period growing up with the game and I would argue that's what a lot of people are. Uh, that's a big community of who's buying things with Roblox. Uh, you could argue it's the parents, but it's, it's mainly them. So jumping back into moderation, though, a, a lot of it comes down to, and this is what I've realized, and this is what a lot of people say, is if you mass report someone, even if it's like you could have like three people report someone, and, and most likely you will get something coming up for like, let's say harassment immediately. And they don't have to prove nothing. They, they could just like dislike you. Uh, I haven't tried it, obviously, but, like, I swear if I did, like, a stream and I'm, like, and I was, like, let's mass report this guy, that it would happen. And that, that's very scary. I, I do not like that uh, moderation. All right, so I can't find the original thing I sent to Roblox. But after that thing, because this, that's the second time it happened for, uh, uh, you know, basically be doing nothing. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I drop a little bit of big boy word sometimes because, I, I mean, clearly, you know, I'm not, I'm not a kid. But it's, like, you know, when I'm doing nothing wrong, Obviously, I don't think you should be punished. And what bothers me is that there's a lot of people that are doing the same exact things that are going through the same exact problem. So that's why I'm making a video on this. Anyway, so I, I responded because I, I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll go to support because this is wrong. I shouldn't be banned for X amount of days. So um, I went to support and basically here's what I got for an email, right? It just tells me, like, okay, here's your support ticket, right? Blah, 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 blah. Um, we'll get back to you. Then it shows me that Sam replied back. Right, and Sam said, "Hello there. Due to multiple violations of the Roblox community standards, your access to voice chat has been temporarily revoked. Um, for why? For why? Right? Like, it literally just doesn't. It just tells me that I've been 
you know, revoked. But I mean, like, why? So then I go down here and I say, is there at least an actual reason? And then here's what they respond with. Hello there. We're sorry, but we're unable, unable to provide you with any further information or response regarding this inquiry. We encourage you to review the previous information sent to you, as well as uh, we and as we have provided you with all that we have at this time. However, if you need further assistance with a different matter, please don't hesitate to let us know. So basically, all they're saying is that try your best to look at the Roblox community standards and hope that it doesn't get abused. Which guess what, Roblox, it is. And the, and the funny thing is. Except for a broad statement, which, I mean, they could have lied. I, I still have no idea how that's harassment versus other things that kids have said. Like, I've been straight up called the N-word in Roblox, and I will see those guys in the game every day. Maybe they got banned, like, a few days later. I don't know, but, like, that happens all the time, and they're going to, like, be this hard on moderation versus people that, like, are literally doing the most minute stuff. Like, this is, this, this is like, fart joke type level stuff. Oh, oh, I said fart. I'm not sure if I'm going to get banned. But it's like, I, I, nobody should be that scared of community. Nobody, especially if it's a kid's game. So, the problem is coming, I would say, from what is this demographic turning into? Because I'm not sure if it's still kids anymore. That's what I'm on the side of. And I think that's honestly a good thing if the moderation is revamped. Uh, I can go into what I could think of moderation. I'll probably make another video on that because this is getting a bit long. But my point is, this is getting to the point that Roblox is starting to lose a, a fan base. And I, I would say that, if anything, they're the ones harassing their members just because of the fact that they're not doing the jobs properly. And I'm not a big fan of that. Or at least that's what I think. And I, I think if they were to actually sit down and watch, you know, their fan base actually take some data and not just do automatic uh, automatic moderation through, like, you know, an AI or something, because that's clearly what this is. Like, there's no doubt about it. Then I feel like a lot of the Roblox community would be doing better. But this is kind of like a, a YouTube incident again, where it's like, nobody's going to care about what happens, and, and this company's just going to keep stomping all over the little guys, because all they care about is money. I mean, it literally has a stock market. Until they're able to get swat on the hands so badly by the community that then they might, you know, listen. But I mean, like, Roblox has not done anything for the community. And the only reason I like this community so much is because the community is so good. It is so good. And I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm very happy. So, um, anyways, if you're watching this, thank you so much for watching, guys. That's this just what I want to say because I think Roblox moderation has to be, uh, there needs to be more things done with it. Especially with, um, a different fan base and, uh, I would say taste that's in the water. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm serious about that. You know, comment down below and I might make another video uh, discussing this. But, um, I really want to see things change. And I feel like this is, uh, something that not a lot of people actually discussed um at least with their biases in mind so uh thank you so much for watching my name is blissing out and i'll see you guys next video subscribe yes. to blue digit what do it now hello you are a cow yeah yeah subscribe to blue digit uh -huh. or else